Congratulations. All right, that was the ability I was trying to find. So now she gets to make her attack. Of course. And when they hit, you have to roll a wisdom saving throw or be charmed. Uh, AC? 14. Uh, reaches out long claws off the end of her fingertips. Yeah. As if fingernails had not stopped growing, but at the same time had hardened themselves to almost that of daggers. Eight points of slashing. So I am frightened, so I cannot move closer. Yep. And all my attacks are at disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Against her specifically, but yes. How far away is she from me? Five feet. Galen, oh. you're up. Hmm. Well, you're prone, uh, but... Do I need to make wisdom saving throw? No, you're in a tent. You're screaming oh. outside. Okay, I'm going to walk outside. What do I so see? You get up, you step outside, now you make me wisdom saving throw. Okay, uh, it's not a charm, so... It is not. Okay, so it's a straight roll then. Uh, that's Nine, a 19, 19 on the die. Yep, yeah, you're fine. She's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no. Uh, it's time for some folly. I send the dancing rapier at it. All right. Moves 10 feet and engages. All right. That is a 17. Hits. And it's in combat with her. Engaged within yes. 5 feet. Yes. So I will get sneak attack off on her. Yep. That is 10 damage. And then would I be able to use my action to move up to it and take out my other rapier and stab it? No, because you've already used half movement and ten feet of movement to exit the uh, tent. Half movement to get standing and then ten feet of movement to undo and exit. Alright, how so far trans- away is it? Uh, she is, I said it moved ten feet, so she's fifteen feet away from you. Alright, can I take out my bow and shoot then? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, that's a thirteen. Uh, misses. Okay. <clears throat> That's all for me. Severos. No, I skipped Devin. Devin. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, well, I'm outside. I guess I see this thing now. Yeah. Technically, you spend the same thing. Nope. Half movement. What's your? Oh. Yeah, it, you're terrified of it as well. What's your? What did you roll? Uh. Total. Uh, it's a wisdom four. Yep. Uh, you also let out an involuntary scream. Okay, I can still attack, but it's at disadvantage. You have disadvantage, yes. And you can't move closer to it. Okay. Ha uh, ha! Who's? Where is it in relation to people? Right next to it. Right next to it. Opposite it, but like ten feet opposite it. Okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, for me to is there anything behind it? For you to it, yes. Him. Move. Go for it. Move. I can't move right now. Uh, hold action until after his move. What are you doing? Chatter? No, I need you to move. Okay. Right. To All left right. or right? Just move. Severus, you're up. I am going to move five feet back and five feet to the left. All right. <laughs> All right. Nine go. Yep. Wall fire. All right. Nice. And then wall of fire affects anyone within 10 feet of the wall, if I recall properly. Um, Realizing that, I keep on going. <laughs> because I am technically moving away from her. No, it's uh, each creature within its area makes a dexterity saving throw, and I can make the wall 60 feet uh, long, 20 feet high, 1 foot thick. Okay. Uh, what's the saving throw? Uh, dex save. Uh, it takes it. Uh, uh, it's gonna so I'm gonna draw five d six or five d eight, and it's gonna take half of that, I guess. Now. Yep. One. So I'm a uh, my character is gonna be doing Eldritch Blast because I can't get close to it, and it's yep. gonna be a disadvantage. Yep. And it's gonna be a a no. It's gonna be a ten. So it's gonna take. Uh, I've got twenty four in total. It takes twelve. Yeah. And there is now a fire. Cool. A wall fire that's 60 feet long. 
on mm-hmm. one side of the wall selected by you when you cast the spell, it uh, will deal creature to it will deal damage to a creature. Now, because you moved left, if you pick right, uh, how far is it? Ten feet. So if you pick right, it'll prevent him from approaching it, but you won't hit any friendlies. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. All right. So Severus, you've moved away. Yeah, you know, man, the flu, like, yeah, it's, and that's, it's, it's an amazing flu. Yeah. <laughs> Was it a rare or legendary? Rare. Rare. And say so all the items I gave out were somewhere on the rare spectrum. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I had at hot some of them, but digress. Fish. Okay. Alfred was a dancing great sword. Um, so <clears throat> that spells a concentration. You can still cast spells, you just can't cast another concentration spell. Okay. And every time you take damage. Yeah, and if it. you take damage, you have to make a con save. Hey, if she wants to come at me, she can come at me, but she's yeah. got to run through fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which see. I can't remember. Uh, probably disengage well, back up. Calculate the save. Feet. Okay. She was in melee with me, right? Yep. All right, disengage back up 30 feet. For her. Wisdom saves both of you. Me? Yep. All right. You see 11. Yeah, 16. Natural 17. You both have disadvantage on this reminder. Because you're both frightened of her. Yeah, 16. I didn't think frightened effect <laughs> saving throws. It affects this ability. Natural 11. You're good. <laughs> yep. And she steps away from the wall. Okay. Uh, so on the side that she doesn't take damage? Yes. On the side that's not burning hot. <laughs> okay. And then she moves into melee with fish. Doesn't attack, but moves into melee. Good. All right, Devin. I'm getting back in the proper order since okay. I skipped you last time. Um, so she's in melee with her, right? Yes. Um, how far away from the wall is she? You just basically went back 30 feet, so she's 30 feet away from the wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Shatter on her. All right. In a way that doesn't you can hit, hit her. only her, yep. Yep. Saves. Okay. Um, it's a constitution? Yep. Okay. Uh, she's going to take half of this so then. 21 to save. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Where are my D8s? Micah D8s? said suck that hag dry. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So she takes five damage from a shatter. All right. I mean, the hag would probably help you. Probably and uh, the wall of fire you. goes away. Yeah. All right. Uh, only if you willfully dismiss it. It does not force to go away. Yeah, I know. Okay. I want to dismiss it. Yeah, I was making sure you, you weren't thinking, I cast Shatter, I need to dismiss. All right. Galen. All right. Uh, since it is in, in melee with her, yep. I'll move my... Dancing rapier back over to where she is now because she yep. moved. You got dark vision, right? Yes. Good. Carry on. I'll make my attack with it, which will be a eighteen on the die, so twenty-three. Yep. Hits. All right. So she's in melee with it. Uh, I get sneak attack. Twelve damage from that. All right. And I will take a shot with my short bow at her. You have di- you are rolling with disadvantage because of the dim light, correct? If it is dark and you have dark vision, you can still see it, but you oh. have disadvantage. Well, the second row was a nineteen on the die, so it would have hit regardless. Okay, so we'll take that as the rapier. You can take the right. shot with the bow because dark vision only increases the light level one step, and dark or dim light get imposes disadvantage on all attack rolls. All right. So for the short bow, then that would be a thirteen. Misses. Uh, 
That's it. Severus. Uh, where is she at? From me. 20 feet from you, because you backed off into the left diagonally, and she ran straight after the cat. Chatter. All right. Fails. Cool. Uh, 13 points of thunder damage. Bloody. But am I still frightened of her, or I passed last time? What? Did I pass my will save to not be frightened of her? Oh, yeah, make a will save. As long as she's in line of sight, it's still with disadvantage. Oh, I, I thought that might have been what those two dice you had me and... No, that was, a, that was a second save she was attempting to force on you. Mm. All right. Um, will, is there, with can I become unfrightened? Wisdom save? Yeah, yes, yeah, so both okay. of you wisdom saves with disadvantage. Nope, two. Goal is 14. No. Nine. That was an excellent thing we did last time. What, what, so well, she is trying to force a second oh, okay. wisdom save. She gets two two things to do on her turn. Instead of attacking, she is using an ability on yeah. frightened targets. Yeah. To just me. Well, just the two of you. Well, I don't have any more. He passed. He did not pass. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, my bad. And it is her turn again. Wisdom saves both of you. Disadvantage. Yep. Eleven. Natural one! <laughs> Welcome to Let's see what happened! <laughs> you both dropped zero hit points. Whoa. Target's a frightened creature she can see within 30 feet. If the target can see, must make a DC 11 wisdom saving throw against this or drop to zero hit points. No okay, game, man. Oof. So am I we stable or unconscious? Or unconscious? You're, you're stabilized because you're not into negative, so you're you're stable at zero. Okay. So are we unconscious? Yes. Okay. Awesome. That's harsh. Yeah, this the hag doesn't hit for a lot. This is her thing. But it needs to hit a frightened target. So ah, her turn. Done. Fish. Last time for a nap. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. It's, it's disadvantage firing the melee. Let's see. Yep. But if you've got your hundred mark on, <clears throat> it's a straight roll. Mm -hmm. Not that it's not that one, but uh, it's a twelve. Misses. Just reminding myself what the AC was. And remind was heal was drinking a healing potion bonus action is on your turn, yes. Alright, bon if you're applying it to you. Yes. Uh, bo bonus action drinking my last healing potion. Vampy the frightened vampire can be the next children's book published on this continent. How Hold on, I got a question for you. If healing potions and healing effects don't work on me, they how? Do. Okay. I uh, thought they didn't work on me. He was referencing 3 5. Ah, okay. 3 5 and Pathfinder work that way, not 5th edition. Okay, cool. Unless, because I was like. Unless the spell specifically says does not work on undead, which okay. some of them do. Yeah. I know, I was like, um, <laughs> how am I getting up, guys? <laughs> But I digress. Um, now. Galen. Alright, uh, still disadvantage? Yep. Alright, rapier attack. That will be a 7. Miss. Alright, and I'll take a shot with my short bow, which will be a 13, which is a miss. Miss, yep. You guys know the easiest way to get rid of the disadvantage? Get light. It is a darkness imposed disadvantage. Wait, why would why? Oh, I just had a giant it. firewall you initially. It. Initially, that is true. But you've already dropped it. Yeah, it but we dropped. made will saves during that time. Well, yes. the darkness doesn't affect the will saves. No, it's the just his attack. The attack. Oh, okay. Hey, but he had a sixty foot long 
thing. There's going to be plants and trees around us that are on fire. You guys are on a gravel bed. Oh. I tried. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> also, unless the wall spe- unless the spell specifically states it sets things on fire, it doesn't. Sounds good. Which is important for some of those spells. Digress. That was Galen. Its turn. It attacks the fish. It wants a phileo. One hit. Five points of damage. Fish's turn. Mm, let's see. All right, if I heal one of them to bring them up, oh. would they still have the uh, fear effect? They would need to roll again. Hmm. So, you think that'd be worth it? What? You to- are a decent ways away from them because mm-hmm. of how you've moved. That's true. Okay, so... That character, we're the only ones really damaging. It's <laughs> true. That's, that's because just because there's no disadvantage to a shout out. <laughs> that's true. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot it. Work with me. This is a ten. Nope. Galen. All right. Uh, anyone should be raising you if you want to raise people. You're the person who's in position to do it. I don't have anything to raise them. You don't have any healing. You don't need to wake us up. You don't need heals. You just need to wake us up. No, no, no. No, we're at zero. We're at zero hit points. Yeah, but we're not bleeding out and stabilized. You're stabilized. You're stabilized. You can wake us up, though, if we're unconscious. Uh, Which I do not have. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bow away, reach into my bag, grab out one of my torches in my tinder box, and light it. All right, that is your action. And for my bonus action, I will use yep. the rapier attack. Go for it. Which is, since I have light now, will it... It technically extends 30 feet bright, 30 feet dim, but because you have dark vision, dim light becomes bright light. All so right. you no longer have disadvantage, nor does fish. Uh, nine. Misses. All right. Got one more attack with it before it needs to recall. Um, never mind. Hit on fish. We're not conscious to say anything. Eight points of damage. You should probably make be like a perception. Fish. All right. So you now have advantage. <laughs> you avoided a net one. I did, but I definitely missed. That's a uh, nine. All right, Galen. All right, uh, I will pull out my other rapier in my other hand. I'll, the hag's about 15 feet away, right? The hag is 40 feet away because she chased after fish. Okay, uh, I'll move 20 feet towards it. Okay. And then uh, I'll... Use my. You can only attack four times before recalling, so I I'll use that last attack on it. You should know it. <laughs> which is a miss. I, I wouldn't have thought of it. And then I guess instead of pulling out my rapier, I would just it's take out my dagger and bunch of a, throw it. All right, roll a ranged attack. Twelve. Nope. I can't take things. Miss on fish. Fish. <laughs> Voted another nat one. Uh, that's much better. So 17. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 13. Is it at least 10? Yes. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go recollect my ammo. You cannot. Oh. It's dark, you're firing into a river. Okay. 
Even my dagger? The dagger you can. Okay. Just not the arrows. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go drag him back into his tent so he could wake up later. Okay, when you're there, you realize that all both of us have healing potions on us. I was kind of dealing with someone. I couldn't exactly do... I will administer one of your healing potions to each of you. Okay. Because I forgot this existed. I'm not even going to worry about my hit point. Because yeah, because as soon as you get one little healing potion, it's just... <laughs> I love it! It's great! Yeah. Might as well not even roll for short rests. No, you got regenerate. Yep. I don't even need hit die at this point. <laughs> Mind you. Uh, song of rest. Yeah, you yep. Sleep. Yep. Oh, uh, no, actually, never mind. Uh, search the hag. The hag has a small pouch of shinies, some of which are completely worthless, others of which have you would assume moderate value on the market. All in all, it's about 300 gems worth of trinkets. Cool. Or sorry, yeah. 300 gold worth of trinkets. Um, she did say living. Now that this thing is just recently dead. Is it living? No. That's there right. you go. Shit. We're going to have to start capturing things. <laughs> Let's see. What kind of hag did you say it was? The... That was a sea hag. Mm. But they can occupy any riverway or waterway. All right, uh, now I get a song of rest and go to sleep. So I am going to get some help back. <sighs> Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Then has that ability that can just straight up nuke people. Against us, it's devastating. Yeah, oh. Well, no, it's, it's just me. It, well, the tank. It is a DC 11, which is relatively low, but I've put some of those against higher level parties yeah. when they're like, I have 80 hit points. Fail, fail. You're at zero. You're just down. Kags are nasty. But mm -hmm. once you save out of the fear, you don't have to keep saving. But so long as you can still... It, like, if you'd gotten out of line of sight, like, hid behind a tent or something, you wouldn't have had disadvantage on your saving throws. Mm -hmm. Because it, as long as you could identify where it was and see it, yeah, you still had disadvantage. Yeah, unfortunately I can't do that, because if I hide behind something and I make a wall of fire, I light whatever I'm hiding behind on fire. Yeah. It is unfortunate. Oh. But the night remainder of the night passes without incident. All right. Reminder to use hit dice to heal up if you haven't already. So. Did you add an extra d6? So, mm -hmm. yeah. You guys wake up at around noon, 1 p.m. after a full long rest. So the second half of your watch. Actually, that was, I guess it was in the early part of second watch. Because second watch then extends into the morning. As you don cloak and just sit there, brooding, as the sun shines around you. Mm -hmm. Weather today, partly cloudy, nothing too great. It's getting cloudier, though. It's likely going to be storming at some point soon. I like it. No sun. Okay, I guess continue on. That was a short rest, Micah. Yep, continuing on. Mm -hmm. How long do you keep following this thing for, though? You oh. guys know that it goes on. In order to reach the source, it's about three days worth of travel. Okay. You want to travel three days? We've already come this far. That's true. All right. Let's just avoid stepping in the river, then. All right. All right. Second day without incident. Third day, you begin, well, late in the day, so at night, uh, the two night scouts, go ahead and roll me survival. Okay. 
Uh, advantage or no? Uh, if you have Outlander, yes. Natural sixteen, so eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, you manage to get to uh, the base of a mountain where there is a large pool of water. It appears that this is the source of the river, and you can see the center is roiling as if it is coming up at at reasonable speed from underground. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm going to copy down on my maps. Okay. Draw the area where it is. Um, do we see anything? I'd be reason to explain the um, gems. Around the edge of the water, you can see that there's some sort of mineral crusting on the rocks that would have been splashed, but you can also see large trails through the rocks where that crusting has been disturbed. Does it look like snail yeah, trails? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's snails. All right. Um, do we know if the snails are making these materials, or are they... Um... What's your school as a bard? Uh, glamour. I'll just take a straight history check, then. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, recalling through the lore and myths as a bard, snails like this would be associated with wealth, but you're not sure if they're related to the creation of... Uh, you would recall that their shells have immense value, though. We, we just need to get it out of the water. What do they eat? Uh, can I uh, look nearby to see if... Yeah, that's about accurate. Anything they can get their little flails on. <laughs> I want to go fishing. Do you have any electric spells? Shatters, like... Thunder. That's thunder damage. It's, uh, it's more I sound. I have no electric anything. damage. Oh. But we just need to go fishing, lower one close to land, and then ambush it. Okay. If we can get it outside of the, the river or the pond, I can actually do something. Okay. Um... Are we going to do this? If we do, I'd, I'd say maybe get closer to back to town before we start trying to lure it out. So it's not. It's as three far. days away. Like, what's getting a little closer? It's going to be like. We don't know that. We don't know the town during here out. was three days away. Yeah, I I think what he's saying is is now that we figured out that it's actually the snails, maybe we actually need to go back down to the bottom, lure out the one. Or three that's down there, since it's only a day's journey away from the the. the so city. we don't have to haul it as long. Yeah, because if there's three shales down there, that's something we're gonna have to deal with anyway. I'm not really interested in why the, about the. I'm not the shales are some sort of cool, but something about this area is unique that they're causing significant stuff to happen. See. I mean, so I, I can't go in water. So yeah, so I was gonna try and lure one out with fishing, but if we're gonna okay. do it, I need you guys to go ahead and to, to get into ambush positions while I try and lure one out. Sounds good. All right. Um, technically, you should technically do it since you can teleport out if you need to, but that's true. So, but he teleports away more than likely. It, the snail's not gonna chase him. I can move. Yeah, that's why he moves slowly, gets close, gets to the right ambush position, and then teleports out once we're about to spring the ambush. Okay. Or you can just find something that looks like it might be edible that it might want to eat, hook it on a line, throw it out there, and literally fish and just reel it in close. Toss in the hag body. <laughs> that's two days away. That's true. Yeah, it's probably been consumed. Um...
All right, well, since we don't have anything, uh, you just get their attention, and I'm going to try and find a spot to hide. All right. I'll... There's fairly large boulders that are undisturbed around here. There's been no flood of water or to move large stones down. There's ample hiding spots 50 feet from the water's edge. Okay. Can you throw one of these big boulders, by the way? How strong are you? Uh, pretty yeah. strong. Can I pick up one of the boulders? <laughs> Not budging. <laughs> These are large, multi-ton uh, rocks. I got you. All right, so you want me to just stand, like, 10 now, feet into the river? And, well, as you're getting close to the edge and looking at the water, while the river is generally large, sloped, and then a channel, this is a pit of water. Okay. You could get maybe a foot in before it's going to start getting too deep for you and then just drop off abruptly. Right. As you're close to the water, the water itself is also warm. Good mating area. Potentially, yeah. All right. Well, you should we move down rivers also, so that we would have more spring. area we could stand in? <laughs> we can market this. <laughs> huh? Do we want to move down river to see if we could find a spot where we'd have more room to stand in? Because... He just said it's kind of like a pit going down. Yeah, so lure something out of it, that pit. I mean, so, because like I was able to go, what, like a foot in? So you can stand, basically, yeah, you can just stand in the edge of the water. That's about it. Yeah, so I can't go too far in. You don't have to go too far in. Well, well if I not, move, like he's standing right there. The water here is also relatively clear and you can see down probably about 20 or 30 feet oh and it just oh. keeps going can we see any snails no oh mm. all right so let's see if we can move to somewhere where we can see snails or find them if they're in a pit we're not going to be able to move anywhere it's going to be too deep to hear your plan was for you to be in this water and disturb it to draw something up uh, i'm i'm going to say okay we'll why don't you swim, swim down there? I'll chuck down a light, or you can have a light with you. I mean, or just pick up a paddle. Well, yeah, cast that's... light on this. I'll chuck it down and start splashing in the water. Sound good? Anything All right, happens. Something gets you guys chuck a rock with light. It begins to descend. You're able to watch it go decent way down. Meanwhile, you're just splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash. Having, having a water fight with an invisible friend who's not there and isn't splashing back. Roll me perception with advantage. Yay. Oh, uh, should I, I'm, hit, I'm stealth and hidden right now. Should I roll staff? You said no, perception? You don't have line of sight to what is coming. I'm, I'm, I was trying to get an ambush. That's a 22. Because he's trying to lure some now. No, well, line of sight down into the pit. Yeah, it's something coming from down into yeah, the pit. Yeah, you don't see it. Yeah, no. I'm just... Once it breaks surface, you will see it. You're in ambush ready for that. Okay. Well. But until it breaks surface, you're not going to have to see it. He's trying to see it before it breaks surface. Yeah. That's like 22. 22? And it's a cracking. That 20 on stealth. <laughs> 22? You see a large green tentacled creature starting to come up. Oh, dude. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. Guys, there are, tenta- there are tentacles coming up. I mean, if run! It, Stick the, to the plan. Stick to the plan. If it gets within, <laughs> uh, if it breaks surface and gets within like five feet of me, I'm going to immediately if face step out. To break, if it gets to surface, it's going to be able to get you. Uh, you have a choice now. Run or stay. I'm going to run just to be safe. Yeah. He, he immediately steps back, starts running. What's your move speed? 30. 30? So you get 30 feet back, breaching itself onto the ground around you, landing on two large feet. You guys will, those of you in ambush, will get an attack once the description's over. You see a frog hemoth land down. <sighs> I hate frog hemoth. <laughs> what do I know about frog hemoths? <laughs> Go for it. I know about frog hemoths. Uh, what is this, history? Yeah. Uh, 13. They hunt snails. Hmm. Uh, can I roll one as well? 
Charm it. Charm it. Yeah, no. I don't know anything. All right, well, I fire, though, uh, with my short bow. Yep. Edit. Go uh, for it. Do I get sneak attack? No. Okay. Uh, 15. Hits. All right. Uh, seven damage. Probably chase the snails out of uh, the habitat they were in. All right. Arrow lodges itself into the hide of the monster. The other two of you who are in ambush. I did Elders Blast and got a seven. Misses? Yep. Wow. Mm. Do you and... Do, well, never mind. You didn't say it. Will I be able to Try and get my Slayer's that. Prey activated? <laughs> to do what? To activate no. the Slayer's Prey. Okay. You get an action, that's it. Okay. I'll just shoot. That is... 19. It's... That is 8 damage. Alright. So the arrows slide while the arrow and bolt both land home. Roll initiative. Alright. Let's go with you. <sighs> hey, that's pretty First good. natural 20 of the night. That's 22. a 24. 13. <laughs> 6. What are you killing? 22. Severus, you're up. All over again. Chatter! <laughs> Alright. Yep. You get your spells back on a short rest? I got yeah. Yes, I do. Con save? Yep. 13. Saves. There you go. Ooh, that sucked. Seven. After having? Nope, that's total. And I am backing 20 feet away. All right. <laughs> uh, your guys' ambush positions were already at the edge of the cauldron 50 feet away. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I'll stay there. Because if you're wanting to back away, you're either running down the river or up a mountain. If that thing gets close, I'm running down a mountain. Down a mountain? Up a mountain. Oh. No, I'm spider walk up You're the at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm going <laughs> all day every day. Woo! All right, Galen. All right. Uh, how far away is it from me? Fifty Sorry. feet. You're good. Fifty feet. Yes. Uh, I'll move. Oh no no no! Sorry, you were the you one who was in the ambush. <laughs> it is twenty feet from you. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting eaten. Folly. The dancing rapier will go towards it and make an attack. Go for it. Which is Ooh, natural pretty, 19. Yeah, so it's no sneak attack. I know. That is a 8 damage. Alright. And I'll take a shot with my short bow. Which is in that one. Alrighty then. No one else in range. We can't use that. So we're only a d20. And what level are you? 4. You want a 1, 2, or 3? That's a 6. Alright. Um, your bowstring becomes detached. You had, in your haste to move, it had gotten jiggled, and then by the time you pulled it, it just popped off the top. Okay. It will require an action to repair. I'll move, uh, 15 feet back. All right. It's turn. Pragima just, uh, does it get to hop? I don't think it's a hop. It should have a speed, a hop speed. That would be fun. It has 30 feet, so it's just kind of loosely hopping and then just taking a couple steps, then hopping again. Quickly closes the distance. Uh, well, 10 feet away from you. Uh, it is 20 feet away from all of you in ambush. 
That's why I backed up. You can run farther. Strength saving throw. Me Ooh. or Jenna? That's an 11. So it just kind of looks at you and its tongue oh, just... Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, 13. It's a DC 18. Yeah. Its tongue just... just... <laughs> <laughs> shoots my glasses across the room. Because spatial awareness, I do not have... We gotta kill this quick. Like, real quick. Its tongue oh, sticks yeah. out, not... sticks onto your cat fur, and pulls you up to its mouth. <laughs> and meet ya. Not yet. Oh, no, it gets a bone. A bite attack as a bonus action. Twenty-three hit. Yeah. Eighteen piercing damage. Ow. Make a dexterity saving throw. As you try to avoid ending up in the gullet. X, that is 14. You are not swallowed. That's good. Mm, preferable. Alright, and now it has two tentacle attacks. Oh no. Elves love tentacles. It is literally their favorite thing. Reach 20 feet. So, first one going to you. 22 hit? Yep. Twenty-four bludgeoning. I'm unconscious. This thing is sentient. Oh, it's a two. It's huh? an animal. Yep. It's a monstrosity, but basically an animal. Yeah. Um, we need to get the fuck out of here. What's your uh, twenty-five hit? Yeah. He's twenty feet away from me. Mm-hmm. I'm bleeding He's got a out. Twenty foot rage. Um, my AC is eighteen. Nineteen bludgeoning. Okay. Hellish rebuke level two. Uh right. deck saving throw. Two D ten. Three D ten. Two D ten. No, three. Level two. It's oh, first level spell. It's a, and it's a war I'm a warlock. All of my spells are max level. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's three D ten. Does a sixteen save. It does. It still has to take half damage. Yep. Yeah. So three D ten. What dude, I got it right here. Yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and roll up the damage. I'm just checking. Uh, oh. Okay, eleven. Uh, it'll it's eleven. Total. Eleven, so five, so two. It takes two damage. Cool. The fire dances off of its wet, scaly skin. And I took nineteen points. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I give someone temporary hit points that and they're down, them up. okay. Yeah. All right. Good talk, Devin. Your turn. Uh, bonus action. Uh, mantle inspiration. Uh, you two, and I guess myself. Uh, you can. can I give, do you, oh no, 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 never mind. I'm sorry. I thought eaten. she was eaten, so I was like, now you have to be able to see her. She was not swallowed. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you're down, aren't you? I am bleeding out. Yeah, the three of us get five temporary hit points. Um, the bonus section. How far away from uh, me is him? He's only uh, ten feet away from you. All right, I'm gonna move to him. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna cast Shatter on the beast. All right. Uh, so in, in such a spot that it doesn't hit. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Eleven. Uh, save. That does not save. Does not save. He's gonna take full. Uh, let's see. So, oh, that was my second spell too. So I don't have any more. Yeah, that's my last high-powered one, except for the stuff I can do with the flu. Uh oh, sweet. Uh, twelve. Uh, he takes seventeen damage. All right. From the shatter. 
That just looks like it makes him mad. Okay. Yeah. No, we need to. We need to get away. Seeing this, I I, I yell that. I'm like, we need to run. That's my turn. You have movement. Should you wish to use it? I move to him. You move ten feet to him. Yes. That's no. Okay. That's all I can do. Unless I can use some of that to actually put a healing potion in his. Nope. Yeah. Uh, Devon Fish. Uh, I guess. Am I grappled technically? Nope. Or what? Am I free to. He, he dropped. He, he dropped. attempted to swallow you. Fails. You are at five feet adjacent to him. So you're next to. Um, shiny Elf. And yeah. five feet away from a. Large, Rocky. disengage, feel an agility, sixty feet. Yep. Running where? Just down the river. Yeah, away. Down river. <laughs> then. All right. Severus. He is twenty feet away from me. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. Um. Oh, first I get 10 extra hit points. That's a great little feature. Um, how would I understand what his reach is at this point? He was struggling to get to you, so yes, okay. his reach is 20 feet. So even if I tried to move now, it wouldn't... It, it would not an attack of opportunity. Yeah. So... Um, Yeah, I'm using, I'll accept it, but I'm using all 60 feet and just bolting. Uh, hold on, no. Um, how far away is he from me? 10 feet. You're taking care of him, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, never mind, I'm 60 feet bolting. <laughs> 25 hit you? <laughs> nope, it does not. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. <laughs> Thirteen points of bludgeoning. I'm good. <laughs> Galen, that's saving throw. That's a pass. All right. That goes off all the time. <laughs> what is it? Yours? No. I just I I've been here so much. I yeah. Car alarms go off all the time. Yeah. It kind of begins to survey you all, not feeling too good after the last shatter. <laughs> just pops back in the pool and swims down. Oh, thank you, dear God. It's not here to feast on you. It's here to feast on snails that you guys are making noise and it thought might be here. So that's why it's getting all that crushed gems coming down, is that thing's eating the snails. All right. Uh, I show a healing potion on his throat. Good okay. Dog. You make him eat it too, don't you? <laughs> Eight. Hard cut scene to Sprout, who is just there hoeing away his throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's. That's probably what we'll call it for tonight. Yep. Yeah. We all five? Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Any hit points you gain are gained immediately. So as your max hit point goes up from leveling, you gain those hit points. 